Hello and welcome to another CESOM video by DMVJL Software. Today in this video I'll be giving you some basic understanding of Genie. I'll be creating a simple structure, creating sections, materials, playing a load store structure, creating support points, and then finally running it and code checking it. So this is the screen we're first greeted with when we started Genie. And the first thing we have to do is to create a workspace. So we do that by going to File, New Workspace, giving it a name. In this case, we'll give it Tutorial. Here, we have the option of changing the database units. The default meters and newtons, we can keep those, or we can change it to feet, inches, kilonewtons, kips. It's really up to you. But for this case, we'll just keep it as the default. Click OK. Now we're inside Genie and we have two options here. We can import our member from a different file by using the import feature here or we can start from scratch. Since this is a simple structure and I'll be showing you some basic modeling techniques, we'll just start from scratch. So the basic concept in Genie of modeling is that we use guide points and guide planes, guide geometry to help us create our structure. And these can be found here. What they do, what they help us with, is they give us snap points that we can snap to to help us create a beam or help us create a curved shell, for example. They're very, very useful and in this case making a simple structure this the first thing we want to do is uh, go to guide plane dialog click it and this is the window that we get we have a couple of options here it's looking for the coordinates for four points on the grid and it will default divided into four equal spacings in the horizontal and four equal spacings and the vertical. You can change it to a absolute and give it the actual dimensions or you can do it set it to relative and it will set it as a relative to the actual length. So we'll keep the defaults here except we'll change some numbers. Make it five meters instead. And we'll also change it from the XY plane to the YZ plane. And then we'll click OK. So this is the the plane, the guided plane that we get. So what next? Next is we'll create some sections by going to sections and creating new sections. We have the option of creating our own section or picking it from a section library we have a this library here comes with the software so we'll go with AISC and for the subset we'll just view it as the US sections I can filter by shapes also by height diameters So we'll pick a W10 by 45. Click OK. As you can see, the new section popped up here. Next, I want to create a material. So create new material. Let's call it steel. Let's um, assume it's 50 KSI steel. Now notice that since my defaults are Pascals and I input it as KSI, it will automatically Convert it into Pascals. So I, I just just need to let it know what unit I'm using. And the density is 7850. Young's modulus is 0 0.3. I'll give it defaults for thermal and that name. Um, 
just uh, click apply. So this is our steel. Now we can, after setting these as defaults, I can now create my beams. So as you can see here, when I clicked on that, the first thing it wants is the first input point. So I'll click on this point here. Now you can see my mouse cursor changed to two. So it's looking for the second input point. I'll click over here and I'll do the same from here to here and here to there. And this is a very simple frame structure. Now, if I copy this, and we'll copy it in a vector of 5, 0, and 0, you can preview. Yes, I want to preview my structure, and this is what the structure will be looking like after I click Apply. So I'll click Apply. And here we have a copy of the original frame. After adding a couple of new members, this is what our simple structure would look like. Next, I want to add some support points. So by clicking this and just clicking to where I want to add them, I can also choose to edit these by, for example, I can create some pin supports. In this case, I'll have some pin supports here. The next thing we want to do is to create an analysis. So by going to activities, we'll create a new analysis. Yes, it's going to be a linear structure analysis. We will not be including waves. We will not be including a pile soil. And it's, there is no tension compression members. So we'll just keep it as linear structural and we'll use a static run and click OK. We have our first analysis. By right-clicking again, here we can create a new load case. We'll call it load case 1. Make sure it's set to default over here. And then we can add our first point load. So we'll create a point load here. Um, we'll use this position. So you notice that I can just instead of inputting everything I can click it and it will automatically input values I will add a force in the X direction of 5000 newtons click apply this is what our structure and loads going to look like The next thing is I will be adding uh, some plates. So I'll add a plate from here to here, here to here, here to here, here. Right click to end the command. And then I'll have to apply a thickness property to my plate. So going to thicknesses under properties, creating a new thickness. Let's assume it's five centimeters. And by applying my property to the selection, that's done. So now all we have to do is to run it. So let's do a quick run. It's 
everything looks like a success. Now we can view the actual results. So, um, by alt clicking Alt P or going to Tools Analysis. presentation we get this window here I can view my displacements I can view my beam forces I'm using a beam diagram I can also view my stresses One final step to this is to code check my members. We do that by going to capacity, right clicking, creating a new capacity manager, picking the analysis that we, were, we want. Um, next step is add a run. Yes, we want to do an AIC check. We also have a, a couple of other options, NORSOC, ISO, Euro code, but we will stick with the uh, AIS, AISD. We'll add this load case to the included load cases. Here we have a couple of options. Since this is ASD, we can adjust our factors. And we can give some general global member Click OK. We'll generate the code check loads. Right click, execute code check. Well, first we have to create members. We will split at beam end. You have the option of splitting at incoming beam and splitting at joint, but in this case we don't have a joint. And uh, a split at incoming beam means that if there is a beam coming in, for example, between these two members, that I will split this member into two. And I'll just click OK. Now we can actually view our results. And so by switching to capacity model, we can see what the members look like. color codes, our results, and label. And this was a simple tutorial on creating loads, uh, creating your members. Thank you for watching.